So here we go, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Roscoe Recap, the show where I bring you my takeaways from Town's most recent game, which, of course, was a 2-1 win against Peterborough United as Town went top of the league. It was a cold afternoon at Portland Road, but three points in the bag and a win against a promotion rival. We haven't beat Peterborough since 2012, so a good win against them. Let's get into my takeaways. So first up is Connor Chaplin, baby. Two goals for Towns number 10 on the day. Um, he's now got double figures for the season, which is good to see. He's a put a patch sort of goal scorer. I hadn't scored for a while, but now four goals in the last few games, which is good to see. Two good goals from Connor Chaplin. First was a good header. Then the second, Kals in the box. Referee was losing control, but Connor Chaplin was composed and just fired at home. Um, but yeah, Connor Chaplin, always been a big fan of him. For him to have double figures, he's not an out-and-out -out striker. He's number 10. But he's got those goals, and I can see many more from him this season. But yeah, Connor Chaplin, baby. Good goals from him. So the next takeaway is fair play, Jackson. Now, a surprise starter in this game, I'll have to admit. Up front in his own, but I thought he came alive in the second half and thought he had a really good game. He had got a lot of praise from town fans afterwards as well. But yeah, I thought he had a good game as well. Worked his socks off, stretched out the Peterborough defence, made opportunities for others. He may not be the most clinical of strikers. He probably won't score us a lot of goals. But I thought he had a really good game in this one. Um, I think a lot of people predicted he may start on the left. But up front in his own, worked hard. So fair play, Jackson. So next takeaway is welcome back, Aluko. Now, I think a lot of people were surprised to see Sonny Aluko start in this game. But it was great to see him back. Um, played nearly 80 minutes. I think he was only expected to play 45 minutes. But he gave his all in that 80 minutes. Um, he showed a bit of rust in the early stages. But fair play to him. He's been out for nearly over three months with a serious knee injury. And he was fantastic. As always, calm and collective on the ball. Uh, making through balls. Making some great passes. Worked his socks off as always. Got a standing ovation at the end, which he deserved. But yeah, good to see him back. You know, the squad is looking stretched at the moment. So him making his return is a good option to have. And uh, yeah, good old Sonny Aluko. Sonny Aluko, are oh, you keep doing that? So next takeaway is showing great character. And I will put my hand up. I will admit, I thought at the end there, Tam were going to bottle it. Um, they were never really under threat. But there was a few nervy moments, weren't they, um, for set pieces of Peter Burrow. We made some late substitutions, which had backfired in the past, Cholton, etc. Um, but Town were kept calm, defended well, and they got the win. Uh, no one can argue that this wasn't a fully deserved victory for Town. And then they show some great character. They get the win, a good three points, a good performance overall. Not the classic of games, but a cold afternoon, good win, good crowd, happy days. And the final takeaway is simply Town are top of the league. It's great to say that, isn't it? Town are top of the league. And now I'm going to be pointing the obvious here, but this was a very important three points against Peterborough. You know, teams dropping points, Sheffield Wednesday, Plymouth, now looking very healthy at the top of the table. Um, it's good that Town were able to, you know, follow up a frustrating result with, you know, a good one. Um, you know, the frustrating draws against Cheltenham and Fleetwood. But now for us to follow up with a good win against Peterborough, a team we always struggle against, it was great to see. And going into the halfway stage of the season, we're looking healthy, we're looking good. Up next is Wickham, Adams Park, looking to get a win there as well. Hope you've enjoyed another edition of the Roscoe Recap. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and see you again in another edition of the Roscoe Recap.